This is Twit. In the near future, uh, those of us, I, I feel like Android Oreo is becoming like this, this, this bountiful Christmas presence of things that can happen. Uh, and so for, for those of you out there who, uh, who like to root your device so that you can get full theming support, you actually have something to look forward to with Oreo. Uh, the folks over at Substratum, which is the third party development team that developed a, a really great th theming network uh, for rooted devices, they actually announced a new theme support engine for Oreo that won't require root at all. Nice. Think about that. So it includes theming Android framework and system UI, any third-party app, custom fonts for third-party apps, mods to the status bar, and so much more. Um, usually, all, almost all of that stuff required root prior to before this, but now uh, Android Oreo is going to incorporate full support for Sony's Overlay Manager service, which is an evolution of Sony's runtime resource overlay that was included in Marshm Marshmallow, but actually sat dormant. You know how sometimes they do those uh, kind of unpack and they realize some code is sitting there? Yeah. Uh, that Sony's runtime resource overlay was there, but now it's unlocked, and so no root is required. Uh, but ADB shell is required to grant privileges to Substratum in order to make the changes to the theme. So you're going to kind of have to know what you're doing. Uh, but once the theme has changed, it stays and survives rebooting, which is crazy. Um, but the privileges to change them do not. So you need to use the ADB shell to do that again. And uh, this is going to be a paid app. So they, they, they realize they've got a little gold here. And uh, <laughs> so they're going to make you pay for it. It's going to be being, <laughs> it's going to be released very, very soon. Um, so the, the, the walls around rooting just continue to fall down. I mean, now we've got full theming. That's insane. Yeah. I mean, you know, more and more people like, and especially this X XDA article, it was their exclusives. It was a very good article, yeah. a really good explainer on this. Uh, but when you kind of look through the comments and everything, so many people, and this is XDA, you know, a forum filled with people who are way into modifying their devices. And they're just like, well, this is the, the main reason that I've been still rooting. And if you don't have to root anymore, then you know, why would I when it's when it's this easy and it survives a reboot and everything like that? Um, I can't recall if, if we asked you this last time, Jace, but were you ever into the, the rooting community? Maybe you still are. And is this something that would appeal to you? Uh, well, yeah, I was going to talk about that. My, I had the original Galaxy Note and I rooted that device. And that's how I got into doing it through XDA. And I got one of my first jobs with XDA, creating shows for them. Ah, okay. So uh, very, very familiar with that community there. Um, but I haven't rooted a device since then. I did a show for them called To Root or Not To Root. And I haven't rooted since. So that's like 2011, <laughs> 2012. So then you decided um, not to root. <laughs> End of show. <laughs> to root or yeah, not to root? But, not to root. But All a right, lot of the bad. pros for, to root are now, you know, moot because... Mm -hmm. Root move. Sorry. Nice. Uh, no, I like it. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I just thought of that one. Um, but uh, yeah, having being able to have dark theme, dark themes for all third party apps. Yeah, that's a big deal when it comes to battery consumption as a battery geek. That That's a big one for me. Um, yeah. So that's that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, uh, it's not. It's not as easy as like going into the settings and saying install this, you know, this theme and and apply. Like like Ron said, it still does apply. It still does require some sort of a desktop hook in order to make that change. But once you make yeah. the change, you know, it, that that's really so much more convenient than having to go through the steps of rooting if your device is even easily rootable, you know, sometimes you have to wait for a while for uh, for some sort of you know way in to be discovered, and it's rarely as easy as as you hope it's going to be. Um, so this seems like a, a way around that, and I think it's going to make a lot of people happy. Full full theming support. Uh, who'd have thought? It's not the hey, oh I, for sure. Yeah. Sorry, yeah I think at minimum, as you say, at minimum, it's going to make substra substratum some money. Uh, so cause <laughs> I, can, I can see. I can see a huge, you know, the modding community. I mean, there's a lot of people who go to Android for the, I, I tell this to people when they say, why Android over iOS? I said, because if you want to, you can completely make the phone your own. <laughs> and and this is a great way to do that. And there's enough people out there to, to justify, you know, to, and this is great development work too. So I hope they do make a lot of money. Why Android? Because if you want to, you can. Yep, exactly. There's a slogan for you, Google. Do, 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 do.